Hi all, in this video we are going to understand what is a trigger handler and why do we use it. So in the previous video we wrote a specific code which is used to fire an error message. So in previous video what we did was that if account rating the current account that I'm trying to update if the account rating is changed and if it is changed to hot that what we are doing is we are just firing an error message. Now let's say if I have to apply one more logic that I have to update a field as well. Of course, I'm going to apply it outside this for loop only. I can do it, but it's going to create a much more difficult code, right? So instead of that, I want to modernize my code. Now this particular code is responsible to fire an error message. But let's say I want to update a field. So for that purpose, I'm going to just give few spaces and then I'm going to write the logic to update the field. So writing. <coughs> the logic to update the field okay and what I'm going to do is rather than writing the complete logic to update the field I'm just going to write system.debug updating the field so just consider this that updating the field this is nothing but a complete logic to update the field it is not a complete logic but it is just system.debug just to save our time I'm doing this so right now this logic is responsible to fire an error message and this particular logic is let's say used to update the particular field of the account now you and me know what this particular code is doing and what this particular is responsible for and these both are completely different scenarios and used in completely different user stories right now let's say if third person comes in and he wants to work on the same trigger he wants to go ahead and work on the same trigger right now if he reads the code it is a complete one code for him right he won't know what this particular code is for and what exactly it is doing he has to go through the whole code itself then only he will understand but still it this whole code will be acting as a one piece of code for him itself right he won't understand why or what this part of the code is doing or what this part of the code is doing right he won't be able to easily understand it so that's where you have to modularize the code what do i mean by that is let's say right now i have my code let's say <coughs> This is my developer console, right? As you saw, this part of the code was a for loop, right? That was a for loop which was used to fire an error message. This part of the code is nothing but that for loop. And this part of the code which is used to update the field, right? This is used to update the field. It is, we know that because we have written it, okay? But let's say if a third person comes in, he will be viewing the code itself in a one picture itself right he won't be able to understand what this part of code is doing but he will be looking at the code as whole itself right so instead of that that's where we have to modularize the code now what do i mean by modularizing the code is that this specific code that we have we have to put that particular code in one function okay and this particular code in one function and we have to define the name of the function properly so that it defines what this particular function or what this particular part of the code is responsible for so I'm going to name it as function 2 right so this was about firing error and this was to update the field <coughs> so the firing error I have to put it within one function and to updating the record I have to put it in another function so if a third person comes into the picture he will be able to understand that these are completely two different scenarios now to do this kind of a modularization that's what we call as a trigger handler so in this what we basically do is we create a separate apex class but it would be an apex class not a trigger it will be a separate apex class so let's create a new apex class, file new apex class and let's call this account trigger handlers it should be handler but i will have handler so i'm creating handlers okay now this is a simple separate apex class in that separate epic class, I'm going to create a method public <coughs> void static public static void sorry public static void and this method will be responsible to throw error when the rating is hot okay this particular method is just going to be responsible to throw an error message when the rating is hot right and that particular piece of the code <clears throat> where it throws an error message where the rating is hot is this right so i'm going to just co cut this and i'm going to paste this particular code over here right now i'm going to save it it's 
throwing an error message that illegal assignment to assign to a, a subject and all that stuff okay that's fine totally fine okay what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to comment this code for a single for few seconds because i want to save, save this apex class now once that is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this apex class or this particular method of the apex class inside my trigger now as this method is static okay don't think about it what static is simply static means you do not need to create an object to call that particular function or a variable so all you can do is usually what we do is first of all we create an object so like account trigger handler acc equals to new account trigger handler no need to do that okay if it's a static method all you have to do is you have to just create uh, name the uh, apex class and there after that you can directly call the method itself that's it all you have to do is just uh, call the apex class and dot the method itself if it's a static method okay you don't need to create an object now this specific method what it is responsible for it is responsible for throwing an error message so automatically whenever trigger is before is going to run automatically it's going to call this particular apex class right and particular this method now this method is what it is going to do this method is going to be responsible for throwing an error message so i'm going to comment this down okay now as i save this message or if i if i save this particular code what's exactly happening is that the trigger understands the trigger dot new because this trigger dot new is a context variable of trigger but not the apex right so apex class is not able to figure out what this exactly trigger dot new is so that's why what we have to do is we have to understand first of all what this trigger dot new returns okay we all know trigger dot new returns the newest record right but in what form it returns the data in the form of list but list of what in this case the list of account right it's going to return the data in the form of list of account okay so trigger dot new in this case because we are running in the trigger in the account trigger it's going to trigger dot new is going to return the list of newly created or updated account so instead of trigger dot new you have to use list of account so i'm going to first of all pass a parameter let's say list of account acc list and then i'm going to pass this ac list over here and let's save it oh trigger dot old map is also important over here but that is a quite difficult con concept to understand right now i'm just commenting it out so that we do not get confused because i have to pass the map as well but right now i'm just commenting it out and i'm just showing that if acc dot rating equals to hot then just throw an error message okay so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get the whatever acc list from the parameter and then i'm looping over them one by one and trying to understand if the rating is hot and then throwing an error message but this method is been called inside my trigger itself but if you see this is the method and i have to pass trigger dot new as a parameter to this method so now automatically what's going to happen is that whenever a user is going to update the account trigger dot is before is going to run by default right and as soon as it is going to run it's going to call this method of this apex class and then it's going to pass trigger dot new that is newly updated or created accounts as a parameter and this method is capable to take this parameters because we have created the parameter as well that is acc list so now acc list right now is going to hold acc list is actually acting as trigger dot new over here and it's going to take all the newly created or updated accounts and then it's going to loop over them and it's going to perform the logic as it is now if the third person is going to come and see this code he will be easily able to understand what this particular part of the code is doing because the method itself says that throws an error when the rating is hot so he knows that okay this part of the code is going to throw an error if the rating is hot so if his requirement is going to coincide or conflict with it or it's uh, additive to it he'll just go ahead and make the code changes to this particular part of the code only he won't write his own method and do the logic because it will save time for him and the code for us as well so this is what the trigger handler is trigger handler is basically creating a separate apex class and calling that apex class methods from your trigger so if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel